Times Square in Manhattan is busy today, but in the coming decades, it's going to be a lot more crowded. By 2050, New York's population will swell by more than a million people. And around the world, seven out of 10 people will live in an urban area. To handle this astonishing growth, cities will have to get a whole lot smarter. Everything from trash collection to public safety will only get harder to manage with so many more people. How will cities do it? With the help of sensors. Many of them are already in place. You probably just never noticed them. Here in Times Square, sensors are already everywhere. Most are part of a pilot program by the city of New York that can give us a glimpse into what the city of the future might look like. Solar-powered, Wi-Fi connected trash cans throughout the plaza notify sanitation workers when they're full. Each bin also has temperature, pressure, and humidity sensors that one day may help the city respond to natural disasters. Sewer sensors monitor levels in the city's water infrastructure. In the future, they'll help avoid costly overflows, notifying the city before it even happens. Police department security cameras are mounted in many of the intersections around here. Video from these network cameras can be scanned with software that can identify faces, shapes, and colors, and even zero in on suspicious behavior. There are already 10,000 of these cameras around the city. Similar cameras are used for traffic. Combined with sensors on traffic lights that detect easy passes on nearby vehicles, the cameras send information to engineers in a central location who can adjust light patterns in real time. In the future, smart traffic technology will be expanded throughout the city by combining it with other traffic-related sensors already in use. GPS sensors in taxis track coordinates and times of all pickup and drop-off points. That information can be combined with data from cell phone towers that track smartphones on pedestrians and in vehicles. Add in bike-sharing sensors that track time, duration, and location of trips as well as the age and gender of the riders, and together they make for a nuanced, responsive traffic system that could make even the most congested areas flow more easily. In the years to come, other technology being used on a limited scale now will be woven into every aspect of daily life, creating a truly responsive city. Air quality sensors throughout the city will gauge pollution levels from traffic, boilers and furnaces, and other sources across open spaces and within buildings. Infrared cameras mounted on building corners or poles will track a building's energy use and emissions. Rooftop acoustic sensors will pinpoint the location of gunfire by triangulating the sound of shots and quickly alerting police. Chemical and radiological sensors pinging the Department of Homeland Security will zero in on signs of a terror attack. Building a smart city with massive networks of sensors isn't just a dream. To handle future growth, it's going to be essential. As New York and the cities of the world add billions of new residents by 2050, they'll exceed the capacity of human administrators. But with digital networks monitoring the urban pulse, managing tomorrow's megacities will be within our grasp.